and welcome to our daily devotion where we share this one thing from our revised common lectionary for Tuesday, September the 22nd. My name is Pam Maston. I'm one of the associate pastors here at First Presbyterian Church of Fort Lauderdale. And thank you so much for joining me today. Before I was ordained in the Presbyterian Church USA, I was under the care of Central Florida Presbytery, first as an inquirer and then as a candidate. Those are fancy names for a work in progress. As an inquirer, I was exploring my call to ministry, but I didn't do it alone. I was under the care of the Committee for Preparation in Ministry, the CPM. Then when I was a candidate for ministry, I was under the care of the Committee on Ministry, the COM. I was preparing for a call into ministry, but I didn't do it alone. And when I look back, I realize how much I needed the people who served on these committees. As an inquirer, I needed the guidance, knowledge, and the affirmation that here's the next step Let's discern what this means for you. Let's listen for God together. And no matter what, it's all going to be okay. As a candidate, I also needed the guidance, the knowledge, and the affirmation that here's the next step. This is what you need to know. This is what you need to do. Let's listen for God together and it's all going to be okay. So the CPM and the COM were mentors for me. The people on the CPM and COM were elders in the churches within the presbytery, both ruling elders and teaching elders. Teaching elders are elders who have been ordained to the office of minister of word and sacrament. And what I remember the most about the process was that they invested in me. There were a lot of steps that I didn't know about, and they were there to help me through the process. They explained the way of God in the church more adequately, other than just the steps on paper. It could have been very overwhelming without the guidance of some very kind-hearted and gracious people who gave of their time, gifts, and talents in order to equip the next leaders in the church. That's what we find in our passage for today in the 18th chapter of Acts. In chapter 18, we find a description of the end of Paul's second missionary journey and the beginning of the third. After Paul stayed in Corinth for a while, he traveled with Aquila and Priscilla to Syria and then sailed to Ephesus where he would leave Aquila and Priscilla. From there, he sailed down to Caesarea and finally returned to Antioch to report on how his trip went. Verse 23 tells us that after spending time in Antioch, Paul set out from there and traveled through Galatia and Phrygia again to encourage and strengthen all of the churches he had previously started. As Luke closes this chapter, we are introduced to Apollos, another important person here who is educated, he was familiar with the scriptures, and he was a great preacher. He came to Ephesus preaching and teaching, and guess what? He ran into Aquila and Priscilla, and now we are told that although Apollos was good at preaching and teaching and had knowledge of the scriptures, He only knew about the baptism of John the Baptist and the promise of Jesus' coming. He was missing some important knowledge, and Aquila and Priscilla took him under their care. Apollos needed a CPM and a COM, and I think he found it in Aquila and Priscilla. They taught Apollos all about Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, and prepared him to teach the good news of the gospel. Well, how did Aquila and Priscilla take Apollos under their care? Well, in verse 26, they invited him to their home and explained to him the way of God more adequately. Aquila and Priscilla took Apollos under their care. 
much like the CPM and the COM did for me. I could not be where I am today without them. Friends, how do we find the encouragement in our lives that we need, in our callings, and in our journey to grow closer with our Lord? Who are the Aquilas and Priscillas in your life who guide you, encourage you, teach you, and mentor you in spiritual ways? This one thing for today is that we all need encouragement and we must allow others to speak encouragement into our lives. Friends, no matter where we are on our faith journeys, we all need encouragement. And there are others around us who need to be encouraged. This week, let's look around and see if there might be someone in your life who is in need of an encouraging word. Who are the Apollos in our lives who need some encouragement? It may be the perfect time to take someone under your wing and mentor them, like Aquila and Priscilla did. And whether you need encouragement or it may be that you need to be the encourager, let's all use our words and actions for good. Remember, we're all in this together. Friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow.